Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Vipin Kumar. Today I am going to talk about uh, American Visit Visa, how to apply for it, what are the important documents and what other important questions uh, we should consider in our mind when we go for applying this uh, visa. So this video will be the first part of uh, this uh, two video series. So now we will move to my friend Mr. Favu Kamanjanji. He will ask me some questions relevant to this uh, visit visa procedure. So thank you me. so much, uh, Vipin, uh, for letting me know about the questions and everything. So first of all, I wanted to start with very basic mm -hmm. question: uh, How to apply for the U.S. visit visa? Okay, so you can apply from ceac.gov. It's uh, the website where you can submit your DS-160 form. Actually, the DS-160 form, it's very easy to fill it out and it's not that much time consuming. What information you should have while filling this form? You should have your passport with you, your national identity document, which we call as a, some in some countries, they call NIC, like national identity card. And also you have uh, your CV because it contains all the educational information and your work history and uh, some other important information and suppose uh, if you have some uh, relatives in your country so you should also have their uh, addresses there otherwise if you are going to travel to meet your friends or just you are going to travel by yourself so you should have a like a, a booking confirmation not a full confirmation but you can say a reservation so you can just put it it's a like uh, we can say this thing is uh, kind of not that much mandatory but you have to fill it out in your form and uh, you will need a photograph for this and uh, in this website you will find this uh, photograph requirements as well i'll post the this uh, website link on my youtube description video so you can find it yeah so mm -hmm. let's talk about the uh, category I mean, which okay. B1 or B2? Okay, so there are two categories of uh, this visitor visa. One is B1, which is for business travel purposes. And another is B2, which is for like uh, medical and uh, visiting like travel purposes. So mostly you, we have, normally we have to apply for B2 only. When we select the category in DS-160, we will focus on B2 visa. Why B2? Because uh, it considers, it says itself is uh, because this is for the visiting purposes, for medical or for just tourism. The B1 is only for, you know, business purposes. Ah, okay, got so it, got it, yeah. if you are a businessman, you have some business there, then you can, uh, you know, apply for B1 visa. Otherwise, B2 is the main category to apply. So for the visit visa, you should apply for the B2, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's ask about the DS-160 form. Yeah. And uh, uh, you can also explain why it is DS-160 because it's for <laughs> me, it's uh, sound weird, you know? Uh, okay. So generally, it's uh, there were different forms uh, for relevant to, you know, if you're applying for job visa, they have uh, different DS, uh, like uh, with something. I don't know about that one. If you are suppose applying for J1 visa, like short term educational purpose visa, then you will fill I-20 and DS-160 as well. DS-160 actually, it's a form you will fill for every visa category. It uh, comprises your all information. It's a very important document, but uh, full form I also don't know actually. Okay, so yeah. maybe later uh, mm -hmm. you can write or you can Yeah, yeah, I'll write on my, you know, description of this video so you can also read from there as well yeah so now we are moving to the mm -hmm. very important question yeah. what are the documents oh, that yes. somebody can prepare uh, while applying yes okay so suppose you are applying from asia or uh, like uh, uk europe or from anywhere of the world so you have to consider these important documents with you first of all your photo as i said you can find the requirements online like in this CES portal, what like uh, generally they will ask you two by two centimeter, I guess centimeter or inches for two centimeters most probably. Most of the inches, it depends yeah, on inches. Yeah, 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 sorry. So m mostly they will require you this photo and uh, then you will need your educational documents. 
like if you are a student you are studying in any university and you are getting a scholarship <clears throat> and you will need the, these documents from your university like this student is a current phd master or bachelor student he is getting this amount of scholarship from the beginning like from the beginning of your education this document should show like uh, monthly you were getting this amount from first year to start of the first year to end of the first year then from second to third like this and also you will need a bank statement bank statement is very important because you will show how much amount you have and what amount you are going to spend in that country like in the united states suppose if you are planning to go for 10 days so you have to consider like i'll stay i will eat i'll travel and sometime you will have to pay some tickets as well yeah, uh, for some like disney world some uh, universal studio so and in your ds160 form you also have to mention like how much you are earning monthly actually yeah i mean the source right yeah the source as well and the information like what you are currently doing and the other document is uh, your passport it should be valid more than 6 months i would suggest um, keep it like uh, for 10 years that's how you will get for 10 years of visa and uh, sometime you will get 5 years of visa like for me i got my 5 years of visa and it only took to one month to get my visa and <clears throat> also you will need uh, one thing what we say i guess these are the most important documents and also your cv as well you will not upload these documents on the ds160 actually ds160 actually kind of theoretical form you will only write there you will not upload anything but when you will go for interview you will need these documents with you sometime they will check sometime they doesn't check they don't do not ask your documents to give them to check they only get your passport because they already keep in your keep in mind after reading your ds160 they do some uh, you know security clearance clearances or we can say some information check by themselves like if you suppose mention like you are a student in this university they may might contact uh, the university to ask them is this a student is a really a current student in your university or uh, just is faking about this so whenever you fill this ds160 form it is most important fill according to your documents and do not do not input any fake information it's very important thing so simply i would say that the don't cheat be the yeah. realistic yeah. <laughs> and uh, could you please elaborate about the bank statement because uh, yeah. in every country is mm-hmm. different in like in germany block account and somewhere yeah. you know how uh, much the range you know can you okay so suppose if you are planning to go for 10 days you should it's uh, my suggestion that uh, you should uh, keep your bank statement around 7000 to 8000 usd mm. and they also keep a history of 6 months of uh, your account from your bank you can easily get this or you can online download this uh, from the bank website and you must need a document from your bank which shows the turn out of your account and the current amount of your account the address the name of the bank your address your name and this information should be in the document if it's in different language like uh, for me i'm in poland i got this document in polish language so i get it translated from a lawyer into english can somebody uh, use uh, from like a sponsor mm-hmm. like a father brother yes yes okay so if you someone is sponsoring you like your father or your brother if they are in america or they are not in america you will get a cover letter you have to write a cover letter like he is my father or my brother he is supporting my expenses for my traveling and my stay there mm-hmm. and uh, you will if they are doing a job then you will need their salary slips for 6 months and also their bank statement and with the history for 6 months so yeah we discuss yeah. about the documents yeah. ds160 form mm-hmm. so now let's move toward the fees mm-hmm. i mean yeah how much it is okay so usually it's around 100 to 200 but it depends country to country country to country because i'm saying this 
in some countries maybe you can find a little bit higher but generally it's around 180 dollars yeah so it may be you know it can vary mm -hmm. from the year to year yeah. uh, sometimes but generally it will be in a range of 200 dollars like right? you see for the uk they just changes their yeah prices. it is yeah, yeah. It is. so how uh, we can book the visa appointment uh, okay. for the interview <clears> and <throat> Okay, so after filling your DS-160 form, you will move to US Travel Docs website. I will mention this website as well in the description. Mm -hmm. There, you will need your DS-160, you know, this barcode number, the serial number, or we can say, you can read it in your application, and you will post it on uh, that uh, US Travel Docs website form, your information, and then you will get some available dates according to your city according to your country and then you can just book it and then you can go for your interview and uh, there is something i mean very specific about the photograph i mean could you please yeah. specify that yes okay so for a photograph generally you know your face should be clean clean like you don't need to wear any earrings or any nose pins any glasses any head it should show you, uh, you know, this area very clear and your ears as well. If you are, have long hairs like I have, you should tie them so, so that this should be clear. And this photo should be like uh, covering your shoulders and mostly 80% of your face. And you can read more instructions on their website as well. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it seems like a general uh, requirement that uh, yeah. every country has. Yeah. So what are the possible questions they can ask while they were interviewing and how we can prepare for that? Okay, so I would suggest for interview, first of all, dress well. You know, if you dress like a professional, keep your, you know, mind very active and be comfortable with the situation and uh, be confident. So what they will ask, they will ask from your DS-160 form, whatever you have written there, they will ask the questions from there. What are you doing? Why you want to travel to the United States of America? What is the purpose of your travel? And uh, like, uh, who's supporting you? Are you supporting by uh, supporting your travel by yourself? Is it self-funding? So you can say yes. And also like, how you are getting this money so you can tell them like as i mentioned in my application i'm a phd student or i'm a master student i'm getting this scholarship so that's why i can uh, fund my my travel by myself then they will uh, move like uh, to some other questions relevant to your family like if your family members are in the us already are they citizen or what are they doing generally they will ask because you also give your family registration certificate with your application as well. Not give, but you take, but uh, generally they have our information, you know. What information we even don't think they have our information. They, this is true actually. So <clears throat> the other questions they will may, might ask, like if you are a PhD student, they will ask what you are exactly doing in your PhD, like what is your research area? What is your degree program? And uh, in what year you are currently? What are your future plans? They usually ask this question as mm -hmm. well. And because they want to understand that, are you going to visit? Are you going to be, you know, go there and just hide? Like uh, illegally or whatever. So they will judge you from your question. Whenever you answer, keep eye contact do not you know look here and there because uh, your body language should be confident this is the important thing then they can feel like okay whatever he's written he has written in or she has written in their document it's true to according to him as well they can easily judge by your face features and your talking so these are generally you know very general questions they ask you so I think we uh, we are done with the first done with part. The first part. Yeah. So, so okay. So thank you guys uh, for watching my YouTube videos, and uh, I would like to ask you please like, share, and subscribe my channel and support my channel. So see you in the second part. Bye bye.